G'day there folks, I'm Beanie and you're watching another Beanie Draws video. This video is a, another Tutorial Tuesday and this is going to be hopefully covering the Mosasaurus. Um, the difficulty I found with drawing Mosasaurus is, um, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't watched Jurassic World yet, if you haven't watched it yet, um, skip forward a few seconds. Mosasaurus doesn't really show up in the film very much. Basically, other than what you see in the trailer, it shows up maybe another 10 to 20 seconds in the movie. Not very much at all, so the amount of reference images that I've been able to find for the actual movie Mosasaurus is very limited, so I'm basically just going from the few shots that I've got from the, the, um, the movie screen grabs and trailer screen grabs, and I'm basically going to be making up the rest as I go along. So let's see how we go with this, shall we? What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the body. We'll put in a bit of an oval shape for the body. Oh, that's my Xbox turning off. So we'll put in the shape for the body, we'll put in a bit of an oval. So we'll draw an oval like so. And this pose is going to be kind of front on, side on, sort of, so a bit of a three-dimensional look, which could be a bit of a challenge for some people, but hopefully I'll make this a little bit easy to figure out. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a shape for the head. The head, um, the head will be kind of triangular, um, Hopefully I can make more sense of that when I've drawn it. So we'll draw in the lower jaw. A shape for the lower jaw. We will um, do the... The, the jaw... Um, hmm, I'm just thinking of the best way to explain this one. Basically it's going to be in a kind of a, bo a triangular box shape. So we'll kind of have the, the shape of the box like so. That's the top of the head, um, and kind of give it a bit of a, the rear part of the skull, like so, and um, give it a, a, this, do, draw a line like that, and then what we'll do is we'll draw a rough shape down through here, which will be the top part of its um, mouth hole, I guess you'd call it. Uh, that connects to the jaw, and then we'll do another line down here, which will be the in the inside of its mouth. So we're trying to give it a bit of a three-dimensional shape. Um, now we'll draw the bottom, the top of the bottom jaw, because we've already drawn the bottom of the jaw. We'll draw the top of the bottom jaw, so we'll give it a bit of a shape like this, drawing the drawing a bit of a curve for the jawline, kind of like that, and we'll refine this shape a little bit, because it's got a, um, uh, just like most dinosaurs, it seems to have a bit of a membrane in between its top and bottom jaw, so we'll um, draw that bit in there, and draw the same in there. Annoyingly, it seems there is a helicopter buzzing out the front of my window. Hopefully that won't interfere with this recording too much, but if it does, um, just bear, bear that in mind. So we've got the jaw going. Now, at the moment, it doesn't look very three-dimensional. What we want to do, well, the top part looks a bit three-dimensional, but the bottom part looks flat. The way that we can make this dinosaur, Mosasaur, look less flat is to put a line underneath its jaw to indicate the bottom flatness. So what we'll do is we'll draw a bit of a shape from the chin and we will make this line kind of go like so to give it a bit of a squared vibe. Hopefully that makes sense. That gives it a bit of a box shape. 
and then what we'll do is refine the neck connector um, I guess you'd call it a neck connector I'm not uh, drawing um, legged legged I don't know if that's the right term but drawing dinosaurs with you know legs and arms is easy because you know they've got the general vibe but draw I haven't drawn a mosasaurus really before so this is a little bit of a challenge for me so hopefully I'm explaining this okay okay what we'll do now is we will um, draw a rough shape for the flippers now mosasaurus actually has um, kind of like five digits that are made for the um, the flippers but they don't seem to show up in the model used in Jurassic World so I'm just going to make these flippers look a little bit like whale flippers so I'll do a flipper like that just give it a bit of a um, a, a curved rounded triangle shape hopefully that makes sense and just to make it look three-dimensional I'm gonna put another line here so it looks like that's the top edge of the shape then we will have around here um, around here we'll put in the shoulder joint uh, if you look at a mosasaurus skeleton the shape of the shoulder it that was an incredibly loud motorcycle <laughs> Um, the shoulder shoulder is very circular and small, like um, Velociraptor, T Rex, all them. They have a, they have shoulder blades that go right up there through the body, but not Mosasaur. Mosasaur seems to have a just a very small kind of shape around here. So that's why I'm leaving the shape of the shoulder to be kind of tiny and circular, and then we pull out a shape to be the other flipper what we're going to do is have this flipper a little bit longer than this flipper because this flipper is being hidden inside the body like its other shoulder would be about there so we're making this flipper a little bit longer than that flipper also because this flipper is going to kind of be closer to us a little bit so just kind of stretch it out a little bit to give it a bit of a dynamic shape So like so and then what we will do is we will kind of draw in the shape of the rest of the body now we will turn this circular shape into the rest of the mosasaurus body so what we'll do is we'll kind of we'll put in a line that attaches its skull to its its um, spine and back and because of the way that this mosasaurus is going it's going to have a bit of a, of a flow going from around there to around there to around there well you we can't see that part but it's going to have a bit of a snaky kind of vibe because I'm not going to draw this full length it's going to be kind of front facing so we'll draw the shape of the we'll draw the spine first that's probably the best way to go about it we'll draw the spine it's going to be kind of hard to figure out until I um, elaborate on it so just bear with me for a moment I'm drawing in the shape of the spine which will also then turn into the tail so like so the tail um, kind of looks like it's got spines on it so I'm just drawing out the shape of the rough um, shape of that tail kind of the spines on the tail kind of go like this a little bit so we'll do it like that I'm just going to bring up the light on my video just a little bit there we go right now next what we do is we will now make this area make more sense because it's, at the moment it's just a spine we want to basically give it form so what we'll do is um I'll put some lines that kind of indicate the top flat section of the spine. This is where the sort of uh, the plates and the bone, not the bones, the um, spikes and 
hard f f uh, firm scales go along the back, kind of like this. And then we'll draw a line here that kind of shows the the um, the flatness of the back. It looks a little bit different to how it looks in the movie, but like I was saying, my amount of reference images uh, is limiting, so I'm just basically also just making it up a bit as I go along. We'll do the other shape, the other side of that bit of the back. So this is like basically, if you if you think if you think of a um of a long rectangular box, this is the top of the box, but it's a little bit curved. And then and then it flows up to the tail, and it will that shape will then uh, narrow down. It's kind of hard to explain the three dimensional aspect of it, but um, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Um, what we'll do now is we will connect the side of its tail, so the tail would be kind of like here. And the tail is going to go and connect to the rest of the body. So we'll put the tail, go bring it through the body like so, and connect it to that round circular shape. And we'll just put in its chest as well, just to finalize that. So there we go, we've got the um, the flow kind of going on. Then we will make this uh, tail shape flow out to about there. Normally I would draw a tapered um, tail, and to be honest, the, t the tail of a Mosasaurus, the, the spine part of the, the, um, the vertebrae, does taper in. So I will pretend that we're doing a tapered tail tapering tail down to about nah, my laptop's getting in the way do a tapering tail kind of like this but it has some rather the, the um the Jurassic World version of um the Spinosaur oh sorry I'm just fixing up some of my reference images as well um, this, the tail spine part of the Mosasaurus in um, Jurassic World seems to have several kind of big spike um, vertebrae spine things flowing out of the tail that makes it bigger and I'm guessing more paddle-like. And I think that appears in some of the, um, the skeletons I've seen. Interesting fun fact about the skeleton of uh, the Mosasaurus, it appears that the skeleton is a lot longer than it, it, the Jurassic World Mosasaurus. And another fact is the Mosasaurus in Jurassic World, I would say is about twice as big as the real thing. Um, we already are well aware of the fact that Spinosaurus is apparently four-legged and bipedal, or quadpedal I should say. Um, Spinosaurus had very tiny legs apparently, lived in the ocean. We all know that apparently Velociraptor had feathers. We know that um, Tyrannosaurus rex had um, a skull shape different to the one that Stan Winston's Tyrannosaurus rex has. It didn't have the big ridges on its eyebrow like it does in the movie. Um, basically, we all know that the dinosaurs in Jurassic World aren't exactly scientifically accurate, but that's also because Jurassic Park and Jurassic World aren't they're not, they're not documentaries, they're science fiction, emphasis on the fiction part, because, you know, we haven't figured out, out, out a way to um, bring back dinosaurs from life, and we haven't, I'm sure we wouldn't really be able to figure out that easily, how to genetically modify a dinosaur to become like an Indominus Rex, I just don't think that is really possible. So we just kind of have to accept the fact that dinosaurs, unless we can figure out a way to put, you know, muscles and skin on dinosaurs and actually have them look exactly how they looked in real life because we have no idea what the color of their skin was like and etc etc just have to accept the fact that hey we're artists we're drawing dinosaurs away we kind of want to draw them they're not always perfect i mean the dinosaurs that you see from uh the 18th century or like the first drawings of dinosaurs those drawings look completely different to the drawings that we have today 
And sure, now we've got discoveries of dinosaurs with um, feathers. That didn't happen in the 90s. So just kind of accept the fact that, sure, it's science is science, but, you know, there's, there's room for fantasy, there's room for, you know, entertainment. Jurassic Park and Jurassic World is entertainment. It isn't factual. So if you can get past the fact of, you know, it's not scientifically accurate, you can just enjoy those movies for the fact that they're entertaining and they're, you know, they're fun for kids and they're fun for, you know, big kids like myself, then, yeah, we can stop arguing about, the, you know, what's scientifically accurate and just enjoy the movies for what they are and that's just entertainment and to be enjoyable. That's just my little rant. So anyway, that rant over, I'm going to put in the back flipper. The back flipper, um, I'm just going to kind of do it like this. A kind of a, kind of like the front flippers, but a little bit um, stretched back a bit. Yes. I don't know how much flack I'm going to get for that bit of a rant, but that's just how I feel about Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. I will, however, be doing a drawing of a Velociraptor feathered. I'm not the biggest, I'm still kind of, I still can't really get my head around a feathered Velociraptor. That's because, you know, for the last 20 years I grew up on reptilian Velociraptors, but I'm kind of opening my mind to the possibilities. So I will draw my interpretation of what a feathered Velociraptor will look like, and I'll try and get these other, um, the other requests that you guys have asked for out of the way when I can. Um, now what we will do is we will refine this drawing, because basically we've got the shape of the dinosaur now. Uh, we've got the shape of the Mosasaurus. Let's refine it. So we will now, um, I'm going to put in the shape of, oh actually before I do that I'm going to put in the shark. Um, the, sh the little back piece of the shark going to do it like this. Realistically, if I was going to do it correctly, the shark piece would be really huge, but this is Jurassic World. This is not fact. <laughs> so I'm going to draw just... It's to Jurassic World scale. So, there's the shark fin to Jurassic World scale. And that would be a helicopter if you can hear that. Because I live so close to the city, so I'm just going to wait for the plane to go past. Hmm. Another thing I'm noticing about my drawing is the fact that this line, when compared to the screenshot I have of the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World, this, the shape here is different. So I'm going to fix that up. I'm going to make it more narrower and flat, and make it come out more like there. Just to fix that up a little bit. So there you go, there's that one. Now I'm going to just refine the, the lines and shapes to make it look more structured. Um, the head, when drawing the, when refining the shape of the head, don't draw the head separate from the body. It's it's connected, but it, it's like, it's separate but connected. That won't make much sense, but basically what you want to do is you want to draw lines that indicate that it's, a, you know, a skull shape that is its own form, but it flows into the rest of the body. So I'm drawing um, the jaw shape, just there, but I'm also going to be removing lines, so... I'm going to refine this jaw, the, the jawline shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it up there and I'm going to remove these lines. I'm going to remove that ball joint as well. I'm, going to re I'm just going to remove some of these foundation lines as well. I'm going to remove that line. I'm going to remove. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the circles and the the founding shapes, and I'm gonna remove those lines. But yeah, basically, I find the best way to draw jaws and not the shark jaws, <laughs> but um, 
jaws and um, head structures is to draw them in a way that they um, they're connected, but n but they're like still make them look like they're one form. So like here, we've got the bottom of the neck. This would be one side of the jawbone, the other side of the jawbone, but it connects in with the body. That's the way I usually draw dinosaur jaws or things like that. Hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Um, we'll refine the shape of the lower jaw. The photo that I'm actually using is quite blurry as well, so I'm just going to have to make a bit of it up as well. Um, we'll refine the top part of the mouth. And we will get that part of the mouth. It, it, it seems like the Mosasaurus mouth um, at the tip is quite narrow, and at the and around here is kind of wide. So it kind of looks like it's got a bit of a crocodilian shape to the skull. Um, the brow ridge is a little tricky. It seems like its brow ridge is kind of like that. It doesn't have a hugely pronounced jaw um, brow ridge. Kind of has a little bit of a, in Jurassic World's version, it kind of has a little bit of a Velociraptor shape to the nose ridge. And it looks like its eye kind of goes about there. And its eyeball would probably be about in that shape. Like I was saying again, we don't really get that to see a hugely detailed amount of um, of non-moving Mosasaurus. I was disappointed by um, how little Mosasaurus there was in the movie. Like, I thought they would have given it less a lesser, like, in in the movie it's kind of spoiler alerts, but it kind of it the first scene you get to see of the Mosasaurus, it, you get to see it for about one minute maybe if that it comes out grabs the shark goes in then all the people come down and then you see it fl swimming around and eating the shark and then that's the end that went for about 30 seconds i think and then you don't see it again spoiler alerts again if you don't want to know um skip past this part of the video but the second part that you see of the mosasaurus for another 30 seconds is when it comes out and grabs the the pteranodon and then just falls down and splashes into the water that's maybe like five or ten seconds and that's it and then you don't see the mosasaurus again until the very end for yet another five seconds or so so you really don't see the mosasaurus all that much which is really disappointing i kind of wish that they had have had the mosasaurus for at least like a couple of minutes like you know terrorizing people underwater or something but nope but oh well it was more about indominus rex and the Velociraptors, so all the other dinosaurs that you see in the movie, in the trailer, that's basically what you get. Uh, now we're going to refine the shape of the head. Um, we'll refine the shark a bit, or what's left of it. Give it the fin. Oh, the camera has gone out of focus. Hopefully it hasn't gone too much out of focus during this um, drawing. Um, I think I'm going to refine, fix up the jawline a bit. I don't think it's that angular. I think it's more like that. And I'm going to remove this bit of line. Because I don't think it, I don't think it's as, um, um, kind of hard to explain. Um, because this, again, this reference image that I'm using is quite blurry, so I'm just making it up as I go along, really. I'll do another video, I'll do another drawing at some point, I'm sure, which will look better. But just, this is basically, you know, people wanted to know how to draw a Mosasaurus, I'm trying to do it at the most basic level. Because I don't really draw much of these aquatic dinosaurs, so it's a nice, nice challenge to try out. So there's the flipper, 
we're refining the flipper give it a bit of shape I have no idea how I'm going to texture this dinosaur to be honest normally the next video that I would do would be all the texturizing but I have no idea how to texture the um, mosasaur maybe I'll just do it like completely different to Jurassic World and just do my own style um, we'll refine we'll put some like sort of fold lines and curved lines around in the the um the flipper because it moves the flipper moves so it has to have movement lines to allow it to stretch and fold then we'll put in that we'll refine that flipper again I might give it some kind of rough indications of those um the finger joint, uh, the finger bones that it has in the skeleton of the flipper. So I'll probably down the track do like some little scales along there that just kind of indicate that there's a finger structure underneath that flipper. I think that's, I think actually that's the same for like whales and that as well. So, um, I'll put in some, lo some kind of curved indication lines for um just to kind of indicate the shape so it's a, a kind of an oval cylinder style so i'll just kind of do it like that fix up that flipper um i'm going to draw some bubbles actually just to kind of these are going to be rough bubbles just to kind of give it the idea that it is it is actually underwater so give it some like sort of wobbly watery lines some yeah wobbly watery lines that's the best way to explain it and just some bubbles just to make it look like it's going underwater i'll fit i'll probably fix them up to look better but yeah some more bubbles around there and then i'm going to try and put in some it looks like it's got some sort of spines and nobly um, hard scales along its back so I'll draw them along its back um, when doing a three-dimensional curve it can get tricky so as you can see here they're longer then they get narrower and then when you when they kind of go to a uh, I'm trying to explain in words a three-dimensional aspect, but basically you make you make them narrower to indicate like the the front-facing um, aspect of them, and then you make them get longer again as they turn back around to the profile form. Do the same for around here. It seems to have three rows of um, hard ridged. Um, spines and things like that I mean some artists have drawn the Mosasaurus with no spines at all they've drawn it very whale like and other artists have made it look very crocodilian with lots of um, scales so I will decide for myself how I'm gonna texture it when I get around to doing that I don't know if I'll make a tutorial for that I'll probably be doing a lot of deciding and trying to figure it out as I go along because like I keep saying I haven't drawn Mosasaurus before so right we'll refine that line and now we'll just do the tail refine the tail part um, again the interestingly enough the um the, the actual skeleton of a Mosasaurus looks like the 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 legs would be more like around there the legs um the back flippers would be more around the around here and the tail is a lot shorter but um in Jurassic World's version the tail is quite long and the body is kind of short in um proportion but I'm doing it the Jurassic World style so if you don't like the scientific inaccuracies give this video a dislike <laughs> but if you don't mind um, just trying to learn and just practicing and then eventually getting it scientifically right then hit the like so now I'm just gonna 
refine some of these um, kind of big spiky paddle. Um, I'm just going to check my other source image. Yeah, it seems to have like um, kind of spiky um, paddled um, spines, kind of like a Spinosaurus in a way. Yeah. I've noticed for lots of different artists who are doing um, Spinosaurus drawings on YouTube that um, that people are doing the old school style of um, Spinosaurus, the one that appears in Jurassic Park 3, and the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus's skull is significantly different to a skull of the real thing. And its whole body is like completely different. That's why it's, I think that's probably why it's thrown so many artists off. Because I think the quad pedal um, pose is very, it's a new discovery. I didn't know about it until so many people have, you know, mentioned it in the comments. So, you know, we're just like dinosaurs, artists are also trying to evolve. So we'll do the last few sp big spines. I don't think it actually. No, they're not that big actually, the spines, so I'll just kind of have them like this. This is where it gets a bit messy. Um, I'll lighten up some of these lines, because it's getting a little bit messy up around here. Um, it seems around here it actually has less of a spiky bit of um, paddle and more just like a Kind of like that, like a thick one formed, ima imagine these fingers don't exist, it's just like a big paddle at the end of its tail, depending on, you know, depending on the mosasaurus that you've, that you've seen out there. Some of them, some of them have been drawn with um, a bit of a shark fin kind of tail, some of them have been drawn with this kind of tail. And some of them have been drawn with just like the the narrowing down like a Diplodocus um, or Diplodocus, however you want to pronounce it, tail. I probably will <clears throat> I probably will draw Diplodocus at some time, but what I'm going to draw um, very very soon is I'm going to draw a, a I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do just dinosaur feet and just dinosaur hands, because I really like dinosaur hands and dinosaur feet, and I haven't really emphasized much on that lately. Well, I've, I've drawn little bits in the in the full body tutorials, but I haven't really gone into detail, and I really want to do that, so that's going to be coming up. Um, there's a lot of other dinosaurs to come down the track. I'm going to do an Allosaurus. I still have to do um, uh, Taurosaurus. And I'm going to do a Styracosaurus at some point, because I like Styracosaurus. I think I like Styracosaurus more than Triceratops. And I apologize if the audio is really clipping bad. I'm going to get myself a better microphone at some point. But we care about the drawing and this video, this re yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to go into too much chitter chat now. I'm just going to fix up the lines while we've got this video down at still at 30 minutes. Or 33 minutes. I think that's looking pretty good though. I think that kind of looks like a Mosasaurus. We'll, we'll, actually, we'll put in its little pupil. Didn't really see much of its eye in the movie. I should probably draw the last scene of... Um, we don't want to give too much spoilers, but I mean, the movie's been out for a couple of months now, so... I want to draw that last scene, let's just say that. And I'm also going to draw the Raptor Squad when they um, when they reach the Indominus Rex. I'm going to be doing that scene as well. Because I know some people have wanted to see all four Velociraptors, so I'm going to be doing that at some point as well. Um, but I'm glad you guys liked the um, the drawing I did of Blue, the Velociraptor. I, was I actually really enjoyed doing that drawing. Not that I don't enjoy doing the doing these, but you know, that one was just a spare out of the blue, I just had to do it, I just wanted to do the scales in that style, and so I did. So, um, I'm just going to do some quick little water lines, and then I probably will do another video that will go in into the rendering of the 
Oh, actually, I should probably put in the, the teeth. So if, um, the Mosasaurus. But yeah, I haven't drawn Mosasaurus very much before, so it's, this is very new to me. If I've done too many, um, if I've made a lot of mistakes, feel free to let me know. Um, because I do appreciate the critique. I do read the critique, and I, you know, as long as you don't say, oh, that sucks, then, you know, if you, it, like, like you guys have told me about, um, I think, well, you definitely, you guys have told me a lot about the Spinosaurus and the mistakes I made, and, um, I do often forget to do the dew claw in some of my dinosaurs, and you guys are good at pointing that out, which I'll remember in the future if I can. But yeah, those things, like, I don't mind, I don't mind people calling me out on, um, on some of the mistakes I make, that's how we improve as artists. But yeah. Um, just be gentle on me for this one, because I've never drawn Mosasaurus before, and it's a, you, with the limited, um, reference images for Jurassic World anyway, it's a bit of a challenge. So I'm just putting in the teeth like so. I don't think it's teeth with that big and sharp, but I'm just going to draw them like that anyway. It's not bad for a first go. See, this video, you guys are watching me learn as well. And down the track I will be doing a, another, I'll, I'll be doing like non dasa related ones as well, as one of my first fans pointed out. Um... But yeah, I think that's probably good enough for just the line art. And then I'll, I shall refine it in the next video. I don't know how much annotation will be in the next video, um, but yeah. I'll just quickly do a little bit of a refining of the, the shark part and the Put a little bit of the blood shape in there, just a squiggly, pardon I, just a squiggly bit of a line to indicate the blood of the shark. It's all, with these watery wavy bits, it's just, you know, it's wiggly lines that just kind of indicates bubbles and water motion. I mean, you don't really see that in the in the actual photo, uh, the movie of Mosasaurus underwater pretty much just like is as is, but I find that these lines, they help um, indicate the movement of it going through the water as opposed to just being a static image. It gives it a bit more life. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it. Um, hopefully it satisfied some of your cravings. If it has, please be sure to um, give it a like, a thumbs up, um, share it around. You guys are really good at doing that. Um, getting to the point where I don't really need to ask people to subscribe because you guys have already done it. But there's more people subscribing. I think I'm up to 1,200, possibly even more now. It's such a big following. I'm really enjoying it. Thank you very much that you guys, like, all the comments about how much I'm, um, you know, inspiring you all to draw and helping you draw it like it gets me a little bit emotional and happy and like you know knowing that i'm actually helping people and it's a pretty cool feeling i'll just say that so thank you all for being so freaking awesome um thank you for watching this video hopefully you learned something hopefully uh, this you could follow along on this video a bit um Sorry if I didn't explain it too well, because I mean, I'm trying. I was trying to figure out how to draw it as I was trying to explain how to draw it, which is a very tricky thing to do. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. So I'll catch you all later, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> catch you all later. Bye.